Since early 2020, few visitors have been able to travel to Israel. Doors opened briefly last summer, but closed after a few months. Now doors are beginning to open again, and CBN News met with one Christian group back in the land. These pastors got the chance to visit Israel thanks to Eagle's Wings Ministry, a group focused on advancing biblical mandates such as spiritual community. We are so glad after two and a half years that we couldn't come back to the land to bring these pastors, almost 30 pastors from all over America, from the UK and from Canada, because we're living in a moment in the Christian church that we're reconnecting to the Jewish roots of our faith and standing in support of the modern state of Israel. And these pastors are just every day gaining a sense of focus and clarity and commitment to what God is doing in this place. I've been here a few times, but this particular time um, it's really touched me not only to, um, you know, to tap into my Christian roots, but really to tap into the Jewish roots. For these pastors, a chance to experience the land where the Bible comes alive. Honestly, it means finding history and bringing it to life for me. Uh, you know, we read the Bible constantly. I preach from the Bible. Over these past nine days, I've actually walked the Bible. At one point, the group gathered around a piano on the promenade and began spontaneous worship. I'm going to build my life on you. I'm going to build my life on you. I'm going to build my life on you. Pastors reflected on how this trip will enrich their ministry, especially first-time visitor Pastor Joe Reeser. It's planted a seed. It's made an impact. That, and I'm convinced of this, there's probably not an area of my ministry, my leadership, my future, my planning, my strategizing that is not going to be impacted by the influence of the land and the people and what God is doing, not just what he has done historically, but what he is doing through this place. The pastors are having their paradigms shifted. They're having their hearts softened and awakened. For years, Stearns has led the day of prayer for the peace of Jerusalem, and he says it's more important than ever. We believe that at least one day a year, the hearts of the global church should turn back to Zion, should turn back and, and pray for the, the coming of our king, the return of our king. This has taken on all over the world. So I invite all believers to set aside the first Sunday of every October as the global day of prayer for the peace of Jerusalem. Alpha.